There are a number of times when you want to redirect a post, page or URL in WordPress. Maybe you have changed the slug for a post or page. Maybe you have amended the permalink settings or maybe you have written a new post and want to redirect an old post to that. In all these cases, you will need to set up a redirect as this will tell browsers to go to the new URL instead of the old one. And in today's video, I will show you how to redirect pages in WordPress. And now let's get started with the video. Before I start with the methods, first I will talk about some of the main reasons you will need a redirect on your website. 404 errors. These occur when a user requests a page that cannot be found. This may happen when you have moved your page to a new address or the user has typed in the URL incorrectly. Number 2. Changing your WordPress permalink to something more readable might benefit your website. However, if you will change the existing link's default structure, you will need to set up a redirect so that the site visitors do not receive a 404 error. Number 3 is URL optimization. If your site has been established for some time, you might want to optimize the URL of old yet still popular pages and posts of your website for mobile use or readability. During this process, you need to ensure that the visitors get redirected to the new URL. The fourth reason is directory changes. You might need to move the directory of your website either for general reorganization or for security reasons. A 301 redirect will ensure that the site visitors still get to the right place. The next reason is search engine optimization. Whether you are rebranding your website or want more control over the URLs that visitors see, experimenting with 301 redirects is one way to boost your SEO. Now I will show you how you can actually redirect any URL in WordPress. Suppose there is any URL that is showing 404 error, I will tell you how you can redirect it to a working URL. So here I am already logged into my WordPress panel and now I will explain to you two methods using which you can redirect any URL. Alright, so for the first method, we will need a plugin and for the second method, we will do it manually. So I will start with the first method and for that, go to the plugin section and then click on add a new plugin option and here just type 301 and search. Now here you will see a lot of 301 redirection related plugins. You can use any plugin that you want out of the ones given here as per your requirement. But the plugin that I have used is this one and currently I am using this one. As you can see this plugin has got so many good reviews, the number of installation and it even gets updated from time to time. So you can install this one and activate it as well. So just click on the install button and once it gets installed, press the activate button and follow the on screen instructions to activate it. And it will take a few minutes to completely get activated. Now you will not need to make any changes in the settings manually just activate the plugin and once you have done that you have to go to tools section of wordpress dashboard and then click on redirection here you will see a lot of links that were automatically fetched by this plugin as they were showing 404 error now if you realize that you have created a wrong url or you want to make a long url a short one or if you have posted a content twice by mistake and now you want people to land onto the right page, you can redirect the old one to the updated one or you can even redirect the new content to the already popular content by merging their information. Alright, so yeah, here you have simply, you have to simply enter the old URL and then the new URL. Alright, so let me show you how you can do it. First click on add new, you will see two blanks. One is for the source URL and the other one is for the target URL. Now you have to enter the link here that you want to redirect and then you have to enter the current or new URL to which you are redirecting the old URL, all right? Then click on add redirection and this will get automatically updated. So now if someone will click on the old URL, they will be redirected to the new URL. So you can do this for as many URLs as you want. And now here I have already redirected a few URLs. So I will show you how it works once you set up the redirect. 
Now I will open one of my old URLs and you will see how it will redirect me to the new website, the new link. And here I have entered one of my old URL and after that just press enter. And as you can see, it redirected me to the new URL that I have entered. So that's how I have redirected all my problematic URLs like the ones that were showing the 404 error to the working ones. Now let's move on to the second method where you can do the redirection manually. For this method, I will be using a code that I have already copied on my notepad. You simply have to copy this code and then you have to paste it in the ht.access file. And to find the ht.access file, you can go to the file manager of uh, whichever hosting you are using for your WordPress website. And there you can easily look for the ht.access file. And once you are on the file, once you have opened it, simply click on edit. And at the bottom, you have to just paste the code. And here it is written old URL. So you need to have the old URL and here you need to have the new URL. You just need to ensure that you have to use the file with the new URL, the ht.access.yourwebsite name with the new URL and not with the old one and it will get redirected automatically. That was all for this topic. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to stay notified of all my upcoming videos. If you have any issues, queries or suggestions for my next video, do let me know in the comment section down below. And you can also visit my website that is getassist.net where I post similar content. Thank you for watching.